Hey y'all, this is Megan Golden with In Style Country, and today I am here with Joe Smith. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. I'm so excited you're here with us. So you just released four songs digitally, and I listened to them, and they are absolutely incredible. Your style is described as Motown meets country. I've never heard anyone say that before, but when I listened to it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what it is. How did you combine those two and like develop the sound that you have today? Well, it was more... Um... I heard a quote once that said that perfection is when there's nothing left to take away. And I think that's a good description of how we got this sound. Instead of like building and trying to add and get it right, it was like when I stripped it down to the core of what I love in music and what I do naturally, that's what happened. So it wasn't, it wasn't like I said, I want to do Motown country. It was more like what do I do in this room alone when I just have a guitar and it turned out to be Motown Country. Yeah, well it's a cool sound. I love it. Are there any Thank artists you. that you kind of like that inspired you to create that kind of sound and like mix the two? Well again, it, I think it was just the artists that I listened to growing up that truly influenced me and it would be Chicago KT Oslin, it was huge because I think she was, if I had to say a country artist in that genre that kind of pulled in a little of the more soulful elements, it would be her. Mm -hmm. um, so Chicago, um, KT Oslin, I loved the Judds because they also flavored their country with a little of that. Yeah. But I listened to a lot of Motown growing up too because yeah. I would get my dad's record collection out. and I mean, obscure Motown too. And I actually don't even know if it would be considered Motown, but it, I remember there was this one, I like that song, Brandy or Fine Girl, mm -hmm. and um, there's a song called like Apples, Peaches, Pumpkin Pie, <laughs> and I love that song, and <laughs> anyway, it's just all that stuff mixed in together. Yeah, there's a track on there called Old School Groove, and I think it's like a perfect representation of that sound, and it's cool mm -hmm. because, can you just kind of tell everyone sort of what that song is about if they haven't heard it yet? Yeah, so it is a metaphor for the kind of relationship that I would ideally want and I think most people want to. It's tradition but it's exciting It's and we're just comparing it to how those old school grooves in songs like Ain't No Mountain High Enough and uh, Mar some of that Marvin Gaye music mm -hmm. and Al Green like how that makes you feel. It just feels good yeah. and that's what everybody wants in a relationship so that's what that song is about. Yeah it's a very cool song and it even talks about Motown and the song and all that mm -hmm. stuff so it's a really cool I feel like it really represents you as an artist really well so we're excited about that. Um, so you're working with Shane McNally who is a Grammy Award winner and has done tons of things is very respected in Nashville. How does it feel to be able to work with someone who's had so much success and have him just like full force behind what you're doing? Well it's incredibly humbling and Shane and I have been working together for, let's see, about two and a half years. And the way that we came together to start working on a project was really special to me because, like you said, he's so well known. And when I called Shane, he was definitely on the way up. You know, he was kind of the hot ticket in town. And I hesitated because making a project that was artistically innovative and authentic all at the same time was so important to me and I just knew in my gut that he was my guy but I was also afraid that it might feel to him that I was reaching out to him because he was successful and I wanted to jump on the gravy train <laughs> and but you know he's such a and this is this is I'm gonna go off on a tangent but That's this okay. is what I think one of the many things that makes Shane McAnally great is that he is so authentic and he's so himself and he has worked his way up, you know, pulled himself up by his bootstraps that he recognizes that in other people. And he was able to see that I, I was really genuine in calling him for a creative reason. And I think also, even though I wasn't where I needed to be creatively and artistically when I called him, I think that he could see 
that I was hungry the way he had been at one time. and He took pity on me. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think it was pity. I hear that stuff, I'm sure he was like, yes, I got to be a part of that for sure. You got yeah. some great stuff. So you were named Nashville Lifestyles Artist to Watch. That was exciting. How did that feel just to have that kind of recognition? It felt awesome. It really kicked the year off great. Yeah. You know, sort of like, all right, this is yeah, going to be 2017. Here we exactly. go. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> all right, so we're in style country, so we like to talk about fashion a lot. Oh, I do too. And I did a little bit of Instagram stalking <laughs> okay. on you, and it looks like you have quite the fashion sense. If you had to describe your style, what would you describe it as? Well, I would say it is ideally. I don't have the money yet to make it right. this, <laughs> no, but <absolutely>. ideally one day <laughs> it's. Uh, Ralph Lauren, Ooh. American, laid back, you know, blue jean and white t-shirt and pearls, kind of sexy. Okay. Meets Chanel. Mm -hmm. uh, I love I love French culture, and I just love blacks and whites and bold, but very classy. And I love. I actually watched that uh, movie about her life, mm -hmm. and I it spoke to me so much because I loved the clothes to start with, and I realized why when I watched that yeah. movie because it was like, you know what? Uh, trends do not matter. You need to wear what you are comfortable in, even if it goes against, you know, the, the tide at the time, mm -hmm. it needs to be timeless and you need to be comfortable yeah and be who you are. And I love that because I'm yeah. super like functional. Like if I'm not comfortable in something, I'm like, I can't wear it. I don't care how good it looks. <laughs> yes. um, and then I would love one day to mix in some Balmain with that oh, because okay. I love those structured, metallic, military yeah. kind of looks. Yeah. And yeah. I love that you said timeless too, because I feel like your music style is that timeless mm -hmm. music style, but also like the fashion as well. They always go hand in hand sort of with who you are as an artist and what you wear like fashion wise. And all yes, that stuff. yes. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you go on stage and you're about to perform, is there one piece of clothing that you, is like your go-to, your staple item, maybe that you're known for or maybe just that you're like, this is what I like to wear on stage. Anything like that? You know, right now, we're, I'm still figuring it out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a tough one because you want to look your best on stage but you want to be comfortable. I'm. I like black, personally. Me too. Anything, As you anything can black, tell. I'm into. And it's so funny because my sister is like, she's like a flower when she walks in the room. Like it's just all these colors, and I'm just <laughs> black. It's like I have these two people have the same genetics. This is so. why I like her style. We relate on the black. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, um, you know, I'm always thinking about what I'm going to wear on stage when I have my headlining tour in the stadiums and I have some ideas and it's again it has some of that Balmain mixed into it I like anything with a lot of structure and yeah so. that's awesome mm -hmm. well thank you so much for hanging out with us today and telling us more about your music everybody you have to go check out Joe Smith she's on Spotify you can listen to her four tracks on there trust me you have to go listen to them right now they're absolutely amazing this is Megan Golden with InStyle <laughs>